Ann Taylor is representing Brian Koberger, and I believe there is a major conflict of interest, since Ann represented family members of three of the victims previously. Who knows what information she has about the victims themselves? Why take that chance in such a big case? Glad I'm not the only one that feels this way because one of my subscribers brought this petition to my attention, and I needed to share it with all of you. It calls for the ban of Ann Taylor from representing Brian Koberger due to conflict of interest. The description reads, Taylor was defending Koberger's alleged victims' families back in November 2022, only to drop them as clients once an official arrest was made on Koberger. Court records show Taylor filed an attorney withdrawal notice in Kootenai County Court for victim Kernidal's mother, Kara Kernidal. On January 5th the same day Koberger made an initial appearance in the Latta County courtroom. That says a lot. Maybe she thinks this will boost her legal career. The legal expert has warned that suspect Brian Koberger could have his conviction overturned if his current attorney does not recuse herself from the case after a glaring conflict of interest came to light. The legal expert is now calling for Taylor to recuse herself from the Koberger case as he believes it could result in the suspected killer appealing any result in which he is found guilty. California appellate and litigation lawyer Matthew Barhoma told DailyMail.com that Taylor seems to want to work on the case with Koberger, describing it as an odd and unique situation. There is a very high likelihood that the parents are going to testify in the trial. The parents and the families are going to stand up in court and testify, and in that instance, Taylor would be cross-examining her own former client.